What's up guys, it's Fab here. I'm bringing you another Cine Vegas tutorial on another transition. This one's on a 3D hand swipe transition. Yes, yeah, pretty easy transition and pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do it today. Before I start, I'm just going to say thank you for all the support I've been getting recently. It's been really good. I've been getting a lot more subs, a lot more views and likes and comments. And it really does help and keeps me motivated to make videos. So keep it coming and I will keep making videos for you guys. Okay, so jumping into this. What you're going to want is your two clips that you're going to be doing the transition f um, in. And what I've done is I've slowed it down using Twixter right at the end so I can do the transition. You don't have to do that, it just depends what you want to do. <coughs> so, this is the actual hand swipe that we're going to be using. I did not make this, I got it in a pack, but I will add a download link <coughs> for anyone in the description and you can download that and use it. But yeah, so what I'm going to do firstly is I'm just going to make this faster because it is quite slow when you first download it make it a tad bit faster like that and what I'm going to do now is you want to find the bit on your clip where you want the transi transition to start which for me is going to be here and now you'll notice this is grey, we want it to be see through so all you've got to do for that is go to your video effects go to chroma key and add on blue screen and now you see it's reduced it a bit but then all you've got to do is go to your low threshold and drag it about three quarters of the way up and then it's fine like you can see here okay so now what you want to do is drag it to where you want it and then what you want to do is get your second clip and drag it underneath underneath the timeline so it's underneath the first clip and in line with where the transition starts as you can see here now we're going to keyframe this in with the transition so you want to go to your first clip and go to event pan crop and what you want to do is using the keyframes or your arrow keys on your keyboard whatever you want is go up and find the bit where he starts to swipe which is there so go you want to go one keyframe before that and then add a new keyframe and what you want to do for this is make sure you've got enable snapping on on the corner now what you want to do is use your keyframes again and go across until the, the hand is around here so it's around just almost off the screen and you want to drag it you want to drag the clip drag the clip all the way right like this off the screen and so far you'll notice what happens is it drags with the hand off the screen but now it just goes to the second clip and what I'm going to be showing you is how to get the second clip in time as well so what you want to do is <coughs> same thing again find where the hand starts which is go one keyframe before so about here add a new keyframe and drag this one off to the left like that and then go ahead on your keyframes again and find where the first clip goes off the screen so it's just blank which is there and drag this across again like that and now you'll notice like the hand comes up drags the first clip put in the second clip on sometimes you'll get things like this when you're doing it you see it's got a bit of a black line like that all you want to do for that is just play around with the speed so where it goes back just play around make that quicker so it reduces the black and yeah just play around with it and yeah it's a really sick transition really easy to do and that is pretty much it once you've got color correction on it does look really good and everything like that in an edit does look cool but be creative don't just do it as a transition for clips do it for 
whatever you want really, you could mass things out and do it, do it with text, just make it more interesting. But yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial, keep up with the support, it really keeps me motivated and I hope this, trans this uh, tutorial helped. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to do next, just leave a comment. And yeah, thank you for watching the tutorial guys, see you later.